one of the most insidious problems with e-waste is not so much that every piece is horrifyingly dangerous to you and your environment in the long term, it's that there's so much of it. Overwhelming evidence shows that improper disposal of electronics harms the environment, which has prompted a more responsible system to deal with the electronic waste stream. Vermont acted by banning electronics from the landfill in 2011. The goal of this law is to reduce the volume of waste the landfill receives and to keep harmful elements out of the environment. So a television contains lead, mercury, chromium, other toxic materials. So we send them on to a private recycler and then they are able to safely dismantle that equipment, make sure that all of those toxic materials get captured. A lot of, of the e-waste recycling can get broken down in just its constituent streams. You've got your metals, you've got your plastics, you've got your high value metals in the circuit boards. A lot of it is getting refined, uh, which means that the Usually the, the circuit boards and sometimes other, other components are exposed to high temperatures and chemical processes that are designed to extract the gold and the palladium and the silver and the whatever else happens to be in those, in those parts. Electronics contain hazardous materials such as lead and mercury, contributing to toxic leachate if landfilled. Direct contact or extended exposure to these materials cause health issues and damage the environment. These substances make it important to abide by the law and properly dispose of all electronics. The first thing to do is make sure you get the absolute best use out of this thing you can get. If you personally can't get best use out of your machinery, Try to get it in the hands of someone who can. A charity outfit or a computer repair person who may take it off your hands. If you put it in the hands of someone who can responsibly deal with it, that's a great way of going about it. Central Vermont Solid Waste Management runs a recycling center in downtown Barrie, 540 North Main Street, where we do not collect regular recycling, but instead focus on hard to recycle materials such as paint, batteries, and bulbs, and electronics year round. Extended producer responsibility laws create convenient ways to dispose of electronic waste by providing free collection points across the state. This allows for professional recyclers to retrieve valuable materials from recycled components in a safe, environmentally responsible manner. Brought to you by the Central Vermont Solid Waste Management District. For more information, go to cvswmd.org or 802recycles.com.